Hi, this is Jack Stanley. I wanted to add another chapter into these recordings of things dealing with the history of sound recording. Uh, what I wanted to talk about today was a little bit of the celebrity records of the Victor Talking Machine Company, which were the Red Seals. Now, the Red Seal records came out initially uh, for the Victor Company in 1903. By 1906, they were quite successful. They didn't sell like popular recordings, of course not, and they were also quite expensive. We're talking about $2, $2 uh, a record uh, for a 10 inch, or two fifty dollars for a record for a 10 inch, and uh, we're talking about uh, $3 for a 12 inch recording. Let's just say by Caruso. Well, they started to do duets and various other concerted uh, numbers on record, and they weren't quite sure how to charge for the record. You see, for Victor on Red Seal, let's say if you had Caruso, it was three dollars for a 12 inch record. It was $2 for a 10 inch record. But they ran into a problem. If you have two Red Seal artists on the record, therefore, we have to charge you more. And you would see that when um, Caruso would make his duets with Nelly Melba, made one duet, I should say. And, and uh, that was the duet from La Boheme, which was about as cold as an ice cream sandwich. But nonetheless, it cost $5 because it was $3 for a Milba record and $3 for a Caruso record. Therefore, if you have both of them on one record, they obviously have to charge you for the two. And so the record cost $5. It's an incredible amount of money if you think about it. We're talking about an age where $5 was a weekly salary, which was looked upon as a good wage, $5 a week. This was only for the well-heeled, obviously. They did several other things as time went on. They started to record duets. And then finally, they did a quartet. And the quartet, of course, had four singers. Goodness gracious, what do we do? How much do we charge? Well, they charged a, a bargain basement price for four singers on one record, all Red Seal artists. It only cost $6. Think about that. That's a lot of money. But then came the daddy of them all, and that was the sextet from Lucia, in which they got six singers on one record, all Red Seal artists, all big names. And how much do you charge? Seven dollars. That's a heck of a lot of money. This is the record when it first came out. Make sure I've got this correct for you. There's that label. That's its first label for that sextet. And on the very back of this record, you will see the tag. It tells you it's seven dollars. Now, what I find rather interesting is the translation, and it actually became a joke for a while. In the Victor record catalog, it had the translation uh, for the sextet from Lucia, and its English translation was, What Restrains Me? And the joke always was after that, What Restrains Me? Seven dollars. Nonetheless, the folks at Victor said, make it $7 and people will buy them like hotcakes. And you know, they were right.
they were great selling records these quartets and sextets in which they charge six dollars and seven dollars for a record if we just put that in today's money good god it would be something in the neighborhood of a a one-sided record with six singers on it for several hundred dollars it's an amazing thing but they sold and the first quartet to be recorded was in 1908. And they charged $7 for that record. Interesting bit of history.